there has been opposition to accept them as natural. The question is, will they ever become legal? This is how marriage has traditionally been seen, a union between man and woman. But today, the face of this holy union is changing through same-sex marriages. I think overwhelmingly the people are against same-sex marriages. I think the more that the people understand what is happening, the more people understand that that would be redefining marriage. If marriage in the U.S. is to be redefined, this lesbian couple, known as Bayer and Dancil, are partly responsible. In 1991, they sued the state of Hawaii for the right to wed. Today, civil rights for gays and lesbians are making progress in the Hawaiian courts because of this landmark case. It's very likely that same-sex marriage will be allowed um, in Hawaii. A California bill was proposed that would bar acceptance of same-sex marriages performed outside of California. It was rejected. Assemblyman Pete Knight was the author. They want to take the concept of marriage that has been the cornerstone of society since the history of man, and they want to redefine it. Jacob, look! For Susan and Kathy Sawyer-Hilty, all they want are the same rights as a married couple, like filing joint taxes, health benefits, and the freedom to adopt little Jacob. It's a very scary process. Mm -hmm. We have to then go to court, and mm -hmm. the, the whole adoption lies in the hands of the judge mm -hmm. as to whether or not the judge thinks it's a good place for Jacob to be. And we're just mm -hmm. praying that, of course, that they vote in our favor. The two married a year ago, even though it wasn't legal. Kathy is a reverend for the Metropolitan Community Church, and Susan, a businesswoman. Still, many are unaccepting of their same-sex marriage and pending adoption. The one person we heard it from was my mother, who was sure that Jacob's going to grow up gay because he's raised in a lesbian household. And, of course, our answer to that is, well, Mom, you know, I'm a lesbian. What happened with you and Dad? I think that the, uh, every child needs gets something different from a father and a mother, whether it's two fathers or two uh, mothers. Uh, you know, that's just, it's, again, it's not natural. And a child is brought up with a different and, I believe, unhealthy point of view that's going to permeate our society. Susan and Kathy feel their love for each other has sustained their family, and they want to encourage others. We are a family, the three of us. And no law, no politician, no member of the religious right is going to take that away from us. It's unnatural. Whether same-sex marriages become legal or not, the Christian church has the strongest opinion on these unions. The Bible said God made them male and female. And for this cause, a man shall leave his mother and father and cleave to his wife, and they too become one flesh. I have been marrying gay and lesbian couples for 28 years. I'm not stopping now! But the enraged battle continues for the gay and lesbian community in their fight for the freedom to marry. Here in L.A. alone, some half million gay and lesbian residents are fighting for their equal rights. Recently, the headlines spotlighted the defeat over gays and same-sex marriages with the Defense of Marriage Act. Both the Senate and House voted overwhelmingly to protect the union between man and woman. President Clinton signed the act to make it official. Even though the Senate and the House have taken action, uh, we will be heard uh, in state legislatures and in the courts for the next several years to come on this issue. And ultimately, we believe we will prevail because the American people support the Constitution, equal rights, equal opportunity. Well, we believe that they're trying to legitimize a behavior a behavior and put it on the same status as the traditional family and traditional marriage. And we don't believe that it has a special status any over and above any other American. With the presidential election around the corner, some believe both the Republican and Democratic parties are sending their message to the gay community by embracing family values as the cornerstone of their platforms. Family values are not mandatory heterosexuality. There's a much more to it than that. What these couples, these same gender couples are trying to do across the country is to create families, to make a bond, uh, to take responsibility for each other. There was a time when a divorced man would not have made an ideal candidate for marriage. This human rights campaign spot ran during the televised Republican convention. There was a time when some marriages were so shocking to the majority that they were not legal. Some still are not. What it does is it sends a message to the children of our country that this is an acceptable lifestyle 
and it, they're free to choose that and there's nothing wrong with it. And we believe, as 66% of the people in the United States, that it's wrong. There's like houses all along. Recently, I met with both Toby Bruno and Robert Webb, a couple about to enter into Holy Union. Well, who proposed to who? I proposed to Toby repeatedly <laughs> over the years. We've been together six years, and when did I first propose to you? About a year into it, probably. Yeah. Both Toby and Robert say they knew they were destined for the gay lifestyle since they were children. The marriage is now something they're doing because of who they are. You want to talk about, uh, let's, let's talk about the religious right. And of course, they would think your marriage is an abomination. What, what would you say to those people? We believe in God, and we're, you know, totally accepting of other religions. Yeah. We just think that tolerance is, goes a lot further than, uh, than being dogmatic and being sure of yourself. Today, they're on their honeymoon in Palm Springs, awaiting the big day. We're doing the honeymoon before the wedding, trying to relax before the big day. When we come back, Robert and Toby fulfill their dream of a lifetime as they enter into their holy union. It's 1.30 p.m. on Saturday, and Toby and Robert arrive at their beach house, Robert's childhood home. But today, it is the place of their wedding. Are you? Our families and our friends, the ones that we've and invited and the ones that we've sent announcements about it have all been very supportive. I'm sure there's probably somebody that thinks we're jerks, but they, they haven't told us so. Everybody that's reacted has been very positive. Toby has prepared the beach house and taken care of the wedding plans for several weeks, things that are second nature to this office manager. Robert, the musician and conductor, makes sure the songs are in order for the ceremony. We're feeling wonderful. We're yeah, we're, we're fine. We're really happy, this I mean, fine now. to see the guests already here and everything in place and just like we planned it. Yep. Yeah, this is for you guys. Oh, to wear. thank you. Who's wearing which one? I forgot. Last minute details are taken care of, like giving the best men their boutonnieres. Holy Union certificate. This is to certify that Robert Webb and Toby C. Bruno were joined together in the rite of Holy Union on the 28th day of September, 1996. And the certificate is signed before the wedding can begin. It's going to be performed by a minister um, from the uh, Metropolitan Community Church. We take that very seriously, although um, it's going to be a non-denominational type of service. And I can finally share what's in my heart. I've written a love song to Toby, and also a, a, I've, I picked two songs that are basically love songs written by a friend of mine, uh, David Friedman. I've waited all my life for this one moment. I'm not waiting anymore. A very special welcome to everyone that's here. Family, friends, Toby Bruno and Robert Webb. Although the Holy Union is not yet legally binding, it is considered morally and spiritually binding. So it is a rite in which promises are made, not only between the two men, but also with God. This ceremony isn't legal, and many may disapprove, but to Toby and Robert, it's a commitment for life. The most emotional part was, was of course, the song that Robert wrote. Still you're my angel, soon to be husband mine. Watch how I beam, cause we're a team, everything's fine. And it was very Robert, which was very humorous on, on one side, but mushy on the other side. The Holy Unions basically are very similar, if not identical, to a holy matrimony. The only difference is, is that, again, it's two people of the same gender. So a service or a Holy Union ceremony would look very much like a wedding ceremony. I, Robert, I, Robert, am honored to choose you, Toby. Am honored to choose you, Toby. As the person to share my life. As the person to share my life. I do promise. To be loving and faithful. To be loving and faithful. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. There's the um, exchange of vows, which are promises to one another before God. There is the exchange and blessing of rings or some type of symbol that the couple would come in and bring uh, to exchange. With this necklace. With this necklace. 
I encircle you with my love. I encircle you with my love. And present it as a token. And present it as a token. That from this day forward. That from this day forward. We shall be as one. We shall be as one. And then you may kiss at the very end. So it's a very exciting ceremony, very typical to the rite of holy matrimony. I embrace. going through my mind is that we are um, very fortunate. I, I'm going to say that now after the ceremony is over, I really feel joined. <laughs> um, like all mothers, you know, they want to have their sons married you know, to the opposite sex, a woman, you know, but uh, I know, I've known for years the destination of my son. Marriage is always difficult, what kind of marriage it is, it's difficult, but this one is especially difficult because there are so many people who do not understand why two men should get married. I was delighted to see my brother doing this. Um, Toby and he mean very much to each other. I think it's very important that when two people feel committed and loving that they should be able to um, express that and enter into a committed relationship. Even though gay and lesbian commitment ceremonies are taking place now more than ever, the majority still opposes them. A USA Today Gallup poll found that Americans are opposed more than two to one to giving legal recognition to same-sex couples. 28% favor gay marriages. Nearly 70% oppose them. Among the sexes, 26% of men were in favor, 30% for females. And among political parties, Republicans opposed them by nearly 80%, Democrats by less than 60 for couples like Toby and Robert, their road will no doubt be a very difficult one. But it's a commitment they wanted to make, legal or not. People are talking about it now, and I think it's a step in the right direction, and maybe someday it will be legal. I think we're just ahead of the curve. It's only a matter of yeah. time. It will be legal. It, it, it'll it'll yeah. happen. Many same-sex couples now look to the legal cases like the ones currently in the Hawaiian courts, hoping they will turn the tide for same-sex marriages.